Welcome, and in this video, I will show you how to earn XP ridiculously fast with minimal effort. To get started, make sure your ghost has the XP mod equipped. The 12% costs 6 energy, so level up your ghost if you haven't already. It's a world drop as well. If you don't have it, just play the game and use the 10% for now. Each week, you will have an XP buff for the first 5 levels of the battle pass, and it'll be right here where I'm wiggling my mouse. This is also where you can see the fire team XP buff active. The requirements for this will be a mobile device using the official companion app to pick up gunsmith bounties from orbit, access to the last wish raid, and maybe even a friend for the fire team XP bonus. The fire team XP bonus tops out at 8% at level 86 in the battle pass and it does not stack, making it helpful, but not required. As we load up the raid, we already have bounties in hand. And like I mentioned before, the companion app is king here. It will allow you to pick up the bounties from orbit, which is very simple to do once you have the checkpoint. After loading in, you must make your way to the wish wall. I'm going to speed this up so you can see the process instead of watching me jump around like an idiot for a couple minutes. If you already know how to do this, feel free to skip. Once you arrive at the wall, you just simply have to put in the code for the fourth wish, which is the Shirochi checkpoint. I'll slow down when I complete it in case you don't have the picture pulled up from somewhere. As you make your way through the area, you're going to come across an open door on the right. Do not go through this. That is how you get to the first boss area. Instead, we're going to go past it and jump to this hidden platform and make our way up. As you make your way through, you will eventually reach the wish wall. Now, once you're here, it will take a lot of bullets and a little bit of patience as you go through and shoot each of these icons to make them match up. If you make a mistake, it's okay. You can rotate back around. This will use a lot of ammo. I do recommend having two primaries because you will be shooting a lot. After a little bit, it will even give you ammo so you can rotate back. Uh, scout rifles and assault rifles are the best. Just single tap and move through. I personally like to shoot multiple targets at the same time because there is a little bit of a delay before you can shoot a target again. So as you can see, I move through and I shoot in groups essentially of which ones need to be the same typically so that I can uh, make sure that I don't mess it up. Um, once you complete that, you can step on the middle platform and that will complete the puzzle. This is what the completed wish wall looks like. If you need a point of reference to complete it yourself, I'd recommend pausing here so you can complete it quickly and easily. Now that that is said, I'm going to go ahead and step forward and move on to the Shirochi checkpoint. Once we load in, we're going to get our loadouts ready and we're going to double check our bounties to make sure we know what we're working with. A tip for this is use an external website or app like Destiny 2 Checklist or Destiny Item Manager to view bounties without needing to open menus. I wanted to show this on screen, however, just so you can see that you can double dip with some of the bounty vendors, such as Zavala with Vanguard bounties and the seasonal bounties that are not specific to enemies or activities. This is only possible with some of the dailies and none of the repeatable bounties. For this farm, all you have to do is drop a raid banner if you need ammo and move towards the door to start the encounter. The enemies will start off close to the door and you can simply shoot at them from near or outside and back up as needed since they will not follow you very far out the door if you need health. If you feel like you might miss, I'd also recommend swapping into some ammo finders for your helmet mods if you think you may need more ammo than the max for a weapon. This will allow you to get more drops and keep farming as long as you still have enemies to kill. As you push forward and kill things in the room, more enemies will spawn and at one point you will be left with these five knights in the back of the room. I personally like to save heavy or special bounties to knock them out very quickly because they can be annoying. After that, all these Thrall will spawn and you can finish killing them to knock out whatever bounties you have left. After killing them, you will not have any more enemies. And as you can see, I was able to complete five of my bounties, almost six of the bounties for my first round of my dailies with my gunsmith today. After running out of enemies, you can kill yourself or jump off the edge like I did to quickly reset the encounter. Worth noting that the Destiny Auto Manager is amazing and a must have if playing Destiny on any platform. I forgot weapons that would have meshed better with my bounty set and was able to quickly grab them in the middle of my run without taking much time to do so. I highly recommend it. I use it every day when I play. This is my first bounty set of the day, meaning that I have four available from Banshee as well as five random bounties from him as well. 
Your first set of bounties each day from him will give you a base game XP of 49,280 XP with the Ghost Mod, or 63,360 if you add the personal XP buff maxed out. And it can even go up to 66,880 XP with the fire team buff added on top of that. That's a lot of XP in such a short amount of time and quickly adds up when you keep repeating. Every run after will be five repeatable randomized bounties from Banshee worth a base 20,000 XP, but it goes up to 28,800 without fire team buffs and a max of 30,400 with your fire team buffs. It's also worth noting that any bonus bounties you can pick up from the seasonal vendor as well as from Zavala for the Vanguard is going to give you an extra 6,000 base XP that will be expanded on by all of your XP buffs that you have active. That's very important and I take advantage of that every single time I look through my bounties. Now that I've finished my first run, I can show you that, you know, my clear time, even with pulling items out of my inventory and generally not trying to be super efficient, I was able to complete my first round of bounties all within five minutes and 25 seconds. That is extremely fast and it is a lot of XP to be able to gain in such a small amount of time. Now, what I also do in this video is I go and join one of my only friends that's online at the time. And the moment I'm in his fire team, I go and accept all of my bounties so that I can get that fire team XP buff from him. He was not level 86, but I still got something from him, which was better than nothing. So I'll take it. Using this method, I very easily took my time and was able to complete my first run in five minutes, 25 seconds. My second run, which the timer's already started counting for from orbit to completion was right under five minutes. In these runs, I was far from hasty because I wanted to show the flow of the runs and how it works overall, which means when you do it, you can easily go faster than this. What I'd like to take a moment to do now, however, is point out the differences in this farm and other bounty farm videos that I see. The most bounty farm videos that I see have you doing bounties on the moon and they are wasting your time. Moon bounties only give XP and that is pitiful. By farming with gunsmith bounties, you're also farming mod components, which are extremely important for end game builds since these are the only way to purchase armor mods from Banshee44 and Ada1. I also feel it is way more movement and concentration to move between spots and go back to the lost sector over and over again when you can simply pop to orbit, grab some bounties from your phone, and then hop right back into the killing. Even if you don't need the mod components, this is far easier and very simple, making it hands down the best spot to farm bounties currently. Using this farm, you can very easily farm 100,000 XP in 10 minutes just going through the weapon grind of the repeatable bounties. It's very simple. If you have your loadouts ready already, like I do in my second run, then it's very fast and very simple to just swap weapons on the go. You can wipe and restart to get ammo at any point if you want to, just like I did here. And you can just roll through the bounties as fast as you want. If you're running this and you find yourself long glimmer, Check to see if Spider has Glimmer for sale for Legendary Shards. This is how most people top up on Glimmer while farming XP or after making exotic purchases at the kiosk in the tower. He frequently sells 10,000 Glimmer for 10 Legendary Shards, which is the easiest conversion, but you can get more bang for your buck if you stock up on destination materials and sell those for Glimmer later. That's a bit meta, however, and not necessarily needed if you've been playing a bit since we are all drowning Legendary Shards at this point. If you aren't drowning Legendary Shards in a strat for Glimmer, I highly recommend you just focus on completing dailies and weeklies for each bounty vendor and plan it. In terms of Glimmer efficiency, that is the best thing you can do without burning a hole in the bank. I didn't use any infographics in this video because brain small, and I've been fighting with my productivity suite for the last week. But I've learned a lot, and I hope to keep upping my video quality to share info with people. If you watched this far, thank you so much for being here. Like and subscribe if you have time since it helps me. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.